Just a game. It's getting close to curfew. What time is curfew? I think we solved that last episode, Chris. <laughs> 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Welcome, everybody, to Suggestive Gaming Uncut. We're back in Last of Us. Frank's gone. Thank God, because he's, he's on this fucking tirade about a goddamn flag. And I think we're all over it, except for Frank. Shoot him. Shoot him. Dang it. What am I streaming in? Am I streaming in uh, 1080? Listen, buddy. This is not interesting for anybody on the YouTubes, but... You know what? All right, we're good. Chris, uh, let me talk to you for a bit. Let me let me holla at you. Holla at me, dog. So, well, <clears throat> you may or may not know this, but uh, I I am um, I'm one third of a of a YouTube channel called Suggestive Gaming. Sure. And um, bow. Polygon.com wrote an article about one of our videos <laughs> once. Spill it. And uh, now we have two thousand subscribers. That oh. was a high five for those of you at home. This is our first video recording after we hit 2,000, and it feels good, man. It feels good. <clears throat> it does feel good. I forgot to play this game already. I got some. Uh, I got some good. Good. Th wow. This guy. <laughs> 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 what a fucking idiot. Um, I got some kind words what? from some fans, congratulating us. It was very nice. Loke nice. wrote a very. Uh, I don't know if he sent one to you as well. Yeah. But he he wrote a very <laughs> uh, heartfelt message, congratulating me and us. How do I run? So, yeah, it feels good. It feels like, uh, are you playing on easy or something? Because, yeah. are you? Of course. Oh, okay. I'm not going to sit here and die a bunch of times. Then. I don't, I didn't remember you picking the difficulty. Here, patch yourself up. I'm completely fine with that. I don't need to, but all right, I'll patch myself up. Considering I played Dead Rising with cheats, well. which we talked about last episode. That's how you crouch. What the fuck is a run button? Is there a run button? I thought there was a run button. I thought there was a run button. That doesn't help me at all. Sorry for the clicky clacks, ladies and gentlemen. I have to, uh, god damn it. Sorry everybody who's seeing the Elgato thing now. This is all Frank's fault. I am holding it. I'm not Josh. Alright, Frank, hold on. Because there was a goddamn post. So Frank and I have been arguing about this new Milwaukee flag. Frank thinks it's fucking terrible. Chris, what do you think? Uh, oh shit, um... Of the people's Milwaukee flag? Look it up if you, do, if you don't know. But basically there was this podcast that came out um, about this... I don't even know what podcast it was, but some dude, like, bitched about the Milwaukee flag. Yeah. And pointed out how stupid it was, and it somehow made... Like headlines, like people were like, "Oh, the Milwaukee flag is the worst flag in the history of the United States of America," and blah 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 blah. So then a bunch of people got together and uh, tried to redesign the Milwaukee flag, and there was this whole competition. And one one. I don't know how to pick it up. Uh, hit the R one button. Uh, try the R two button. No, nope, that'll fire. Maybe the R three button. Okay, it wasn't that. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Don't There's know. A triangle. Oh, perfect. Okay, should I hit this guy in the head? All right, here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I missed it. I'm looking at this fucking flag <laughs> shit. Um. They don't even know I'm here. What are they? Could have been a brick just falling from the sky. What All right, it? here. I'm gonna fucking send this idiot. We're working out the city right now, but it's not official yet. Hopefully soon. The wheels of government turn slowly. See, it, it's not... It's not official official, but they're fucking in talks and shit, man. Josh, why does it say recording at the top left? Huh? Why does it say recording? Yeah. Because I'm recording, okay. um... So... <laughs> a little peek behind the scenes for everybody at home. Um... I'm recording through the oh, Elgato software for the uncommentaried footage. Oh, okay. So I can talk and... Exactly. So none of us is getting recorded there. We're getting recorded there. Gotcha. So I'm recording twice at once. So rip my hard drive, right? Alright, back to the game because I'm done with this fucking flag talk. Remember when Uncut was supposed to be us not paying attention to the chat? Yeah. What happened to that? 
Oh, got him. By the way, everybody, we stream every Friday on Suggestive Gaming on YouTube. Maybe Twitch. We haven't decided which one we're sticking with yet. <laughs> so, follow both. Oh, shit. That guy dove right into my punch. Suggestive Gaming on both. Follow both, and uh, you'll um, see you whenever we go live, wherever we go live. Good cover, buddy. Pick up this brick. I'm a man with a brick. It's a man with a brick. Frank is saying in the chat that it's Frank. He's not a viewer. So we should be able to talk to him in the chat. But at the same point, like, motherfucker, if you want your thoughts on the video, you should be here. Got him. That's how you run. Got him. It's L1. It's L1. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how, like, we're having two completely different <laughs> dilemmas. Like, you're fighting with the controls of the game, and I'm fighting with Frank Heinrich. <laughs> Third member of Suggestive Game. I really hope at some point in my life, I'm in a situation where I can throw a gun. <laughs> Why is Frank saying I need to pay him forty dollars to come home? Kind of probably cost him forty dollars to take a bus. I don't know. What the fuck? It's forty dollars to pay for a round trip. Really? It's like less to go to Chicago. I don't know. Well, I mean, Chica isn't Chicago closer? Yes. I don't know. It's a good question. No, I feel it's right. Plus, more people go to Chicago, so the demand's higher. Also, it's a train, not a bus. Is it round trip? That is not round trip. Good point. Look, Chicago is not closer, according to Frank. Um, doesn't Frank have a car? No. No? Oh, I thought he did. Oh no, that was his parents' car, right? That he would drive when he lived here. Yeah, it's an hour drive from Madison to Milwaukee, which makes sense because when I drove up. What you're to uh, Coon Valley. You're like, I got to Madison and I'm like, wow, I'm already at Madison. Uh -huh. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I'd say you got on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're done talking to Frank. Let's focus on the game. I'd have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Who like has that? our guns? Let's focus on how that guy looks like Frank now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just always revert back to Frank. <laughs> like that lady reminds me of Frank. He's got a nice butt. Frank's got a nice butt. Well, it I mean, come on. I mean, all right, you're gonna give him a big head. He's already got a big butt. What? Look, they're basically all dead. Say it's dead. I love video games that have realistic facial hair. Like, do you see how he's just got those random ass fucking like three strands over there? Yeah. Like he's got Norman Reedus beard. That is a stupid idea. Oh, ruthless! She no longer reminds me of Frank. Oh shit! Frank is not that badass. He is just average ass. He is average ass. Well, we already established he's actually got a great ass. <laughs> Oh, who's this? This bitch. There you go. Queen Firefly. Why are you here? Oh, the Fireflies are like the Rebels, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's a thing? Oh, jeez. I'm trying to remember this game. I played it years ago, but I... Fireflies that show with uh, Nathan Fillion. Oh, that's right! That got cancelled, and everybody's like, ah! yeah. Firefly got cancelled! They made a movie, but it wasn't even as good as the show! <laughs> the guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. If I've learned two things from the internet, it's that Firefly is like the best show ever made, and uh, Doctor Who is really good too. Also, Mudkips are a thing. Do you remember Mudkips? When there was like a huge. Yeah! Thing? Yeah. That died hard, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. I don't know why my mind went to Mudkips. Like, that hasn't been a thing yeah, for years. Yeah, it's fine that you it up. Huh. That was like when Meeb started on Facebook or something. Yeah, I have no idea where it started, but yeah, that was around for like... That was one of those memes that was like real hard, real fast, and yeah. then nothing. Yeah. 
I gotta move. What's it gonna be? <laughs> I also like how the internet, like, remember when we were kids and, like, Pokemon cards were huge? I don't I don't know if you were around, like, even before that it was, like, Pogs were, like, ginormous. I don't remember Pogs. Oh, Pogs were, like, fucking huge, dude. And then, and then it was, like, Pokemon cards were, like, huge. And then, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, like, piggybacked off of that. Yeah. But, like, nowadays it's, obviously the current one is Fidget Spinners, right? Yeah. And, like, isn't it weird how, like, the internet makes it like expounds so much more yeah because like now you just like if i'm i'm 26 i would not hear about pokemon cards you know what i mean mm -hmm. like back in the day yeah like I, I wouldn't give a shit like maybe somebody on the news would be like pokemon cards are taking the elementary school playgrounds by storm <laughs> but now like i see fidget spinners like fucking everywhere and i'm like why do i give a shit about fidget spinners <laughs> Like, every day I see, like, schools ban fidget spinners. I'm like, so fucking what? Like, so they don't want the kids to be fucking playing with their fidget spinners all day. I don't care. And they're like, oh, well, what if they uh, have ADD and they want to, like, you know, it helps them, you know, let out their energy. I'm like, cool, but yeah. it's up to the school to decide if they want to allow them or not. Yeah. Like, I don't give a shit. That's like Healy's. Well, Healy's is a completely different. Like, that shit's dangerous. If you I got guess. kids fucking skating around school. <laughs> Good, let them bust their shit. Then well, I, I don't care about them busting their <laughs> shit. I, I, I care about them fucking hitting other people busting That's their true. shit. That's true. I used to hate that when I worked at uh, unnamed convenience store. Or department store, I should say. When you see fucking kids, like, rolling around in their Healy's, I'd always yell at them. I'd be like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Cause like I don't care if you want to fucking roll around and do your shit, but like somebody comes with their cart out the aisle and you're fucking healing down the main aisle. Yeah, you're just gonna fucking slam into some old lady. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. <laughs> Start off like, <laughs> like listen here, motherfucker. I'll absolutely help you. <laughs> Doing all right. Thanks for asking, Chris. What are you watching right now? Like, what's uh, what's your TV show of choice? Uh, Anything watching, current? I'm watching uh, The House of Cards season five. Yeah. Yeah. Are you Orange Is the New Black person? Because that came out too, right? Yeah, it did. And I haven't seen the one that came out last year yet because I got bored watching that one. So. Gotcha. I'm, you know, for somebody who like sits on his computer all day, I have like watched none of the Netflix original stuff. Really? Yeah. Like, I think the only thing... I, I watched, like, half of Master of None, the first season. Yeah. And I was like, this is great! And then I just never went back to it. Um, I really gotta get into that. Because I want to watch House of Cards, I want to watch Orange is the New Black, Game of Thrones is another one I gotta get into. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I find it hard to invest my time in stuff like that. Because yeah. I'm a background noise guy. Like, I just throw on something in YouTube that I can just have in the background. Like, if something requires more than 25% of my attention <laughs> at any given time, I'm like, I can't do it. So, I, I gotta sit down and, and do that. But, I'm, I'm big into Twin Peaks right now, and I can represent uh, Frank on that one too, because Frank's been watching Twin Peaks. Have we talked about Twin Peaks on the show yet? Uh... Cause I might Probably. just wait. I might just wait until Frank comes back so we can talk about Twin Peaks. But yeah, you're gonna blow the shit out of me if you do that. And be like, all right, I don't know what you're talking about. You need to watch Twin Peaks, dude. I I take that back. You don't need to watch Twin Peaks. I I've told all my friends, like, cause I'm huge into Twin Peaks. I have been for years. Yeah. Um, but I, it's a it's really like one of those things where you can start watching Twin Peaks and be like, this is awesome. I love this. Or you can be like, man, whatever. Yeah. But that's David Lynch in general. Like, have you ever seen any David Lynch, do you know? Uh, I don't know, like, anything he's done that I might have... Like, I don't know the name, so... Um, they're, they're not, like, by any means, like, mainstream films. He did, like, uh, Eraserhead, uh, Mulholland Drive, um, Blue Velvet. Uh, what was his big one? Like, his latest one? I don't remember. But he does a lot of, like, artsy films. Okay. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. Really good stuff, but, like, you gotta... Like, he's... The best way I can describe David Lynch to somebody who hasn't seen David Lynch is, like, if you take Christopher Nolan... Yeah. Like, the Memento and... Inter and not Interstellar, but, like, uh, What's the one I just made you watch? Inception. Inception. Like, you take that, but, like... Uh, give him acid. 
Yeah. And that's kind of David Lynch. Like, it's very trippy, mind-fucky type stuff. And Inland Empire. Thank you, uh, Elephant Man, also. Elephant I forgot he made Elephant Man. Didn't David Lynch uh, make Dune? I think David Lynch made Dune. Lost Highway is also a great one. Dude, we should just have a fucking David Lynch night. <laughs> just watch a bunch of David Lynch films. Dude's great. But, like, one day, all of a sudden it was just like, David Lynch is making a TV show, and everybody fucking lost their shit. <laughs> and then he made the first season, and everybody was like, this is awesome. And then he made the second season, and the fucking network stepped in, and we're like, no, you need to do this. And then he just left. Yeah. And then the second season kind of tanked a little bit, because there were so many, like, conflicting yeah. forces. And then uh, he eventually came back, it kind of picked up, then um, got canceled, and it was gone for... He made a film. And then it was, uh, you know, done for 25 years, and now it's back, and it's it's really fucking good. It's like so fucking good. Uh, but yeah, Dune's really good. If you haven't seen Dune, I recommend it. I haven't read the book. I haven't read. I I haven't heard that it lives up to the book quite. Yeah. But it's David Lynch, so I figure he took his own interpretation. It's kind of like The Shining with Kubrick. Yeah. Where it's like, it's nothing like the book, but they're both good independently. Joel, give me a hand with this. <gasps> oh, look who it is. Who is it? Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> so before we start recording, Chris was just going, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie. I got his help. I can't come with you. <laughs> what? Well, so um, apparently YouTube, while we're streaming, says we're playing Mass Effect Andromeda, right? Which yeah. is what I was playing before. And so I tried to update it to The Last of Us, and now Frank said, Now it says you're playing the crew. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna try this again. Why does it not come up? Speaking of which, where are they? Back in the Last of Us. You saw me click it. Yep. You Your changes are being saved. Sa I'm, you know, if it says we're playing the crew, <laughs> fuck it, we're playing the crew, whatever. I don't fucking care. I wasn't paying attention. Who is Ellie? Like, to these people? Uh. Is she a member of the Fireflies? Kind of. Okay. I could tell you, like, straight out what her purpose is if you want. I already know. Oh, okay. Isn't she, like, immune? Yeah. Yeah. You find that out in like five seconds, right? No, well, kind of. Cause I th I knew that. Okay. Like, and like I stopped playing the I moment clickers arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm fucking out, dude. <laughs> nah, I'm piecing. I'll go with him. Don't pick me. And you stay close. He said it's right now. Let's go. Yeah, but then he said, "What the fuck is that?" He uh, said, "I was like, what the fuck was that?" I don't know. Frank is throwing me off of my fucking game, and I'm getting sick of him typing in this chat. I might just ban him. <laughs> <laughs> just ban Frank from his own fucking chat. He'll just log in as us. <laughs> let's go to... Let's now, go to look at how our viewers jumped the moment we were playing in Last of Us. Whoops. Let's right. go to Quick Mart Groceries in Delhi. John's joint. Johnny's joint. Dude. Do you know any good pizzerias? Like, besides, uh... What's the one in Bayview? Pizza shuttle? No, that's the downtown. What's the one in Bayview? That we went to that one time? Yeah. It's classic slice. I classic don't often, slice. so I don't know. Do you know any good, like, pizzerias? I like the Carlos that Randy goes to. The Carlos is great. Yeah. Yeah. They're, I mean, but they're good, like, all around. Yeah. Like, they're fantastic. Like, uh, we had some people at my company up from, like, all over the country. Like, some yeah. from Portland, some from fucking... There's a dude from India. <laughs> um, and uh, they went to DiCarlo's, and they are like, that was fantastic food. So there you go. <laughs> I can't think of any like other place off the top of my head. That Me neither. Like I can't. I, I can't say. Well, there's Durango's. Durango's yeah. in South Milwaukee is fantastic pizza. Mm -hmm. um, that's the classic. Like, Where are we 
if you're ordering food for the department yeah. where I work, you order from Durango's. <laughs> we got a fridge with like the because they give you a pizza slice magnet. Have you seen that? Yeah. So when you order a pizza, they give you a little magnet, and once you complete the pizza slices, you know, into a full pizza, yeah. you get a free fucking pizza, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so on our fridge in our department, we've got a fucking pizza. <laughs> Uh, Frank Sands Ian's, where's that? I don't know. Wow, everybody on YouTube must be like, I'm loving this local Milwaukee pizza joint talk. <laughs> I don't know why I brought up this topic. Like Crossroads, Crossroads is good too. What's that? What's, I don't know what Crossroads There's is. There's two of them, they're not really in Milwaukee, they're kind of on the outskirts. Sure. Like one of Muskego and one. What's the one your brother likes? Maria's Pizza. Th what was it? Maria's Pizza. Maria's, yep. I'm not a huge fan of Maria's. It's all right. He like talked it up like it was a fucking the greatest thing to happen to pizza. It was all right. It's like a buffet, right? Kind of. Uh, not really. It's just. But you like walk up to it and yeah. They, yeah. Come on. Fine. You know what? I'm just gonna go without you. Fuck you. Eat shit. Starting to sound like Josh Picard over here. Well, no, now I'm... she jumps up. Well, Josh Picard would say, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Heinrich loves Maria's. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, if, you, if you're if you ever in Milwaukee... Do you like thick crust or thin crust? You know, I like both. I do like both. I don't know. Maria's is really thin crust. Um, because, to me, I like thick crust, but I don't like doughy crust. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's a... I can see what you're saying. This is a fine line. Nori's. That's the place. I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's a regular sit-down pizza place, Frank. Maria's is. Our, I'm, I'm, you know what, Frank? I'm done talking to you. This is uncut. Um, Nori's New York style pizza. I don't know where the fuck it is, but it's on Grubhub. And I can't get it here at this apartment. I could get it at the old apartment. I must be like just out of the fucking zone because I'm in the same fucking city. But Nori's has amazing pizza. Did we get that that one time? Yes. Okay. Yes. That was the stuff Chris I got. And just exactly. Ate, ate the whole thing. And then we did social <laughs> eating on Twitch. Oh, yeah, that's yep. right. No, it wasn't stuff crust. It was um, where the pizza's in the middle too. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. It was uh, like a pizza. What the fuck is that called? Uh, shit. What is it called? Deep dish. No. You did get deep dish. You got deep dish. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got deep dish. I didn't, but you did. But yeah. I ate that whole pizza. That was so good. That pizza is fucking great. I loved it. So, there you go. If you're ever in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, hop by uh, Maria's and Nori's New York style pizza. Or just go to New York, because apparently they have really good pizza there. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of Maria's, because like, we always went there when I was a kid, and it just, I don't know. Okay, Frank is really fucking throwing me off. 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes. Because this guy, he, he goes in the chat, types cryptic fucking shit. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Apparently you did, though. So, but you've known him longer, <laughs> so you can read his weird... Well, the uh, time is, like, right above the chat. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the other nice thing about YouTube, is you can see how long you've been streaming. Look how dark it is. It's our first time streaming on YouTube for the show. I think. No, we've done it. We did Halo on YouTube. We did something else on YouTube, didn't did we? I remember doing Halo. That's the only thing I remember doing on YouTube. Oh, Desert Bus. We, yeah, we tried for a little bit. We yeah. did both. Yeah. And then my bandwidth was like, nah, I can't do that. <laughs> so we stopped. All right. How long are we going to... Because we're almost to the end of this section of the game. Yeah, well, kind of. There's a little bit. There's probably like 15, 20 minutes left. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. We could probably settle right now because we just went through a cutscene. All right, all right. Fresh, fresh out of a cutscene, you know, just like punching Ellie in the face. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. <laughs> Will the window break? Nope. Wow. And this is on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah, it's fake. You'd think they'd fucking get the window, window physics. Window physics. Come on, man. Complete Come on. shit. 
Jesus Christ, why did I spend $500 on that thing? <laughs> what do you think of the Scorpio? Find out next time on <laughs> Uncut what Chris thinks of the <laughs> Xbox One X. He doesn't care. Yeah, me neither. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening to pizza. Next time, we'll tell you what kind of spaghetti restaurants we like. Chris? Want to give a little preview? To Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> the classic. Anything Italian to Carlos. Is All right, really see you guys later. Next time, uh, we'll finish up this section. We'll get to meet the fucking clickers, and I hate them so goddamn much. <laughs>